Over the last 30 days, we've been involved with the third pillar of Islam, fasting for the month of Ramadan. This month is dedicated to reflection on the principles of God, reflection on humanity, reflection on ourselves to ensure peace, first within ourselves. In the 25th night of Ramadan, worshipers were attacked. The mosque, the synagogue, the church is a safe space for believers. Imagine yourself in your safe space, scared to go back outside because now someone is attacking you. As a black man in America, I understand what oppression is. As the husband of a South African woman, I understand what oppression is. As an African-American Muslim, I understand what oppression is. In June 2017, nine worshipers were killed in a safe space in Charleston, South Carolina. Nine worshipers killed in a safe space. Is there a correlation there? Yes. The ideology of violence, solving a problem with violence. So President Biden, Vice President Kamala, wherever the Constitution dollars go, the principles of pursuing happiness should follow that. We're all, whether you're a cameraman, whether you're a Muslim, a Christian, or Jewish, we're all seeking what is called tikkun olam. We're all seeking to establish weight with justice and fall not short in the balance. We're all seeking health, security, and protection. So I'm asking the presidential cabinet the administration to ensure that Palestinians have a right to their homes. Our constitution ensures that for us because if that was here in the United States, we would be charged with a home invasion. A home invasion when you break the perimeter of someone's home and violate their dignity and take from them. We have to ensure no more home invasions occur anywhere in the world. We have to ensure that anywhere in the world, the governments are providing health, security, and protection. So I'm asking the people of the world to stand in solidarity with Palestine and help the people, help the governments understand. I'm going to leave you with this. In our book, the Holy Quran, which is the divine speech of God, it says, I'm going to paraphrase it, to save a life is like saving the life of all humanity. To save a life is like saving the life of all humanity. I don't know the Palestinian woman, the older lady, but she's like my grandmother. I only met my grandmother once in my life. If that life could have been saved, or we could save the next life, that would inspire change around the world.